Warm Southern hospitality and warm homestyle cooking are the hallmarks for Cracker Barrel Old Country Store. It's been around for over 50 years, consistently delivering what makes it great, a nostalgic step back in time. The first Cracker Barrel opened in Lebanon, Tennessee by founder Dan Evans in 1969. Evans was a sales rep for Shell Oil, who initially wanted to use the restaurant to increase his gas sales. He borrowed $40,000 to get that first one built. It turned a profit after just one month of serving up biscuits, grits, country ham, turnip greens, and of course, homemade cornbread. The name Cracker Barrel really has two meanings. The dictionary defines Cracker Barrel as an adjective that's suggestive of a friendly homespun character of a country store. So something could have a Cracker Barrel atmosphere. But the term first referred to actual barrels of crackers that date back to America's early country general stores. Soda crackers, think saltines, used to be stored in large barrels. Locals would sit around on the barrels, catching up and chatting while munching on the crackers. Dan Evans remembered the general store of his childhood and wanted to create a Cracker Barrel experience for his restaurant goers. The logo for the store captures this, a man in a rocking chair leaning on a barrel that we can assume is filled with those crackers. Evans expanded in the early 1970s, opening more locations, all with gas pumps. He figured his pit stops along the highway might better entice the customer more than fast food. He offered a filling station and home cooking. But after the oil embargo in the mid-70s, new locations did not include the gas station anymore. That didn't seem to hinder the excitement for Cracker Barrel from the public, though. By 1977, Evans, along with his investors, had opened 13 stores from Kentucky to Georgia. There was consistent growth during the 1980s and 90s. The company went public in 1981. By 1992, the company had a $1 billion market value. In 1993, the revenue from Cracker Barrel was twice that of any other family restaurant. Part of the charm of Cracker Barrel is the vintage decor, and the items that line the walls are all real. No reproductions are allowed. Evans enlisted the help of local antique dealers, Don and Kathleen Singleton, to decorate that first space and give it an old country store feel. Every single one of the Cracker Barrels has been decorated by a Singleton. Today, their son Larry is in charge of acquiring regional artifacts for the restaurants. He manages a huge decor warehouse filled with over 90,000 items. The company has a mock restaurant that is staged and decorated for each new location. The items are arranged, photographed, and sent off to the new restaurant for exact placement. There isn't a rhyme or reason for the collection per se. There are items from many decades in America that are represented. It's a museum of sorts, of Americana. And while each restaurant has unique items that might represent that area's history, there are only a few things that are in every location. Over every front door, you'll find an ox yoke and a horseshoe. There's a traffic light over all of the restrooms. Every mantle has a deer head. And in every store area, you'll find an old cook stove used to display merchandise. Even the building's design is a head nod to the old general store. The peaked roof line is reminiscent of northern country stores. And that iconic front porch, complete with rocking chairs, is straight out of stores from the south. Music 
Speaking of those rocking chairs, they are made by the Hinkle Chair Company in Springfield, Tennessee. The family has been in the chair making business for 180 years, and they now make 200,000 rocking chairs each year for Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel dabbles in country music too. They've partnered with some big names on the country scene over the years to release exclusive albums, available only in their stores or on their website. In 2012, they released a two-disc album for Dolly Parton called An Evening with Dolly Live. The album was certified gold. In more recent years, Cracker Barrel formed their charity, Cracker Barrel Cares, which assists employees in times of crisis and need. They launched licensed products in 2013, allowing grocery stores to carry their meats and some baking mixes. In 2018, Cracker Barrel headed west, opening its first store in California. And in 2019, Cracker Barrel purchased Maple Street Biscuit Company, a trendy breakfast and lunch chain that serves comfort food with a modern twist. As of this recording, there are 665 Cracker Barrel locations in the USA. They're scattered among 568 cities in 45 states. Florida has the most with an impressive 60 locations. Walking into a Cracker Barrel is a bit like stepping back into time. It's a place to slow down and enjoy relaxing on a front porch in a rocking chair. It's a place to test your peg game prowess or play checkers by the fire. And it's a place to enjoy some good, old-fashioned home cooking. Thanks for watching Memory Mountain. If you enjoyed this video, please click to subscribe to our channel and hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to tap the notification bell so you'll be one of the first to know when we post our next story looking back over the landscape of Americana. Thank you.